Donald Trump's not even president yet. And have you seen what's happened in the last 48 hours? The misogynist appoints the first ever woman to be chief of staff. The Taliban announced they want peace with America and to be taken off the terrorist list. Putin came out and said that Western civilization is not an enemy. Mexico has started securing the border in, of course, response to tariff threats. Saudi Arabia is kicking out all of their Hamas leaders. New York is cleaning up their illegal migrant crisis. Xi Jinping came out and said he wants to peacefully coexist with China and said that they respect American people. The European Union chief finally came out and said, hey, America, can we start buying LNG from you so they stop buying from Russian gas? Putin says he takes Donald Trump's plan to end the war with Ukraine very seriously and Russia supports it. The these are stepping back. The Hamas called for an immediate end to war. He's calling for term limits and from Congress so that way people like Nancy Pelosi stop being forever members. Stock markets and crypto hit all-time highs. He sent Kamala Harris and Hillary Clinton into depression. Because of all of this amazing news, white, liberal, ugly women are now refusing to have sex with men. America is in fact being made great again. Well, there you go. Well, guys, Trump has not been in office yet. He's been president-elect. And already, the atmosphere has changed. The sun is shining brighter. The air is crisper. And these women have had enough. They've already said they're going to do the 4B movement. I'm not going to be dating. Nope. No men for me. Don't want them. Don't want them at all. No dating. No sex. None. 4B movement in full effect. And if you voted for Trump, don't fucking talk to me. Oh, you know, comment, do your thing, you know. Oh, love, you guys were all about love and tolerance. Who told you that? Who said that? Because I can tell you I'm not feeling loving or tolerant. So you can you could say that because it's the truth. I'm not going to deny you. That's fine with me. And now the black women. The black women are now saying that they had enough of the Democrat Party. Right, Joy Reid? Hey, uh, I just want to give some free advice to... Um, uh, the white progressives, particularly white progressive women who may be thinking about um, marching against the Trump victory, um, maybe putting back on the P-word hats and doing that thing. I would just say probably don't send any of those invites to any black women you know. Um, I, I'm just going to tell you right now, they're not coming. <laughs> like, uh, I, I'm pretty sure black women have resigned from the Save America Coalition, Save Democracy Coalition, and definitely the Save the Democratic Party Coalition. I think that's probably not happening. I would just keep those invites maybe among your own friends because <laughs> I don't think I don't think they're coming. Yes, guys. Yes, Joy Reid have finally said something that we all have been saying under our breath. Nobody likes black women, right? I don't think you all are fully grasping what it means for black women as a whole to be taking a step back. But allow me to illustrate what that's gonna look like for you. When there's a bunch of mess going on at work and you can see that there's this one person harassing people or when people aren't getting paid well, when usually black women would have stepped up and started, uh, started advocating, they're not doing that anymore. When you're in the checkout line and somebody behind the counter is being rude to you or vice versa and a black woman steps in usually to advocate or to step in and you know calm things down, they're not doing that anymore. When the news is reporting about the horrendous things happening in your own country or in our own country and things are happening on a grander scale and black women take to social media and take to the streets and get shit done, they're not doing that anymore. Time and time again, y'all have left black women high and dry on the front lines for issues that most often did not even involve us, but we were always advocating and making sure everybody was taken care of. We are not doing that anymore. In every aspect of world system, in every aspect of society, people benefit off of black women speaking up, making space and advocating and protesting. And without that energy, there is going to be a very different experience for all groups in the United States. Now, if we go down the line, nobody likes white men. 
some black lady made a post that says white people how does it feel to be white okay well this is how it feels to be white imagine being a race that you're not allowed to be proud of if i put up that i'm proud to be white people would comment that i'm the most racist person in the world all right imagine being blamed for something that you were never a part of okay so also on top of that imagine that you can't get a job now because of the color of your skin like literally they tell you that we we we're not hiring any white people right now we need more people of ethnicity here huh imagine being straight and white and christian you're like the triple threat of hatred imagine being told that you have an ideology that you don't have like just because you're white you're racist so that's what it's like to be white nobody likes white women so i don't know if it's y'all or if it's just me but when i say it i'm minding my own black business and that's it that mean i'm not watching their videos um i see i see this and i i, I scroll real fast so tiktok just gonna tell me i'm gonna keep seeing them so guess what i'm gonna keep doing I'm following my, my black girls. I'm engaging with my black girls. I'm making comments on y'all posts. I'm liking y'all posts. I am minding my black business. That's it. I don't want to see nothing else. I don't want to say, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. We riding with y'all. No blue wrists. I, I'm minding my black business. Let me sit in my black business for the next four years. That, that's all I'm doing. Thank you, TikTok, and I appreciate you. Definitely nobody likes black men. And now we have to add on the list, nobody likes Hispanic men. I may offend some people with what I'm going to say, and I don't give a fuck. To all you Latinos that voted for Trump, I hope he mass deports you and your entire family. Whether you were here legally or not, you got to go. I hope he does that. To you black men who your fragile ego couldn't take a black woman in office. So you either voted for Trump or you didn't vote at all. The police will now have carte blanche to murder you right where the fuck you stand. And when they do that, there's not going to be no GoFundMes. Don't ask your family to ask us for shit. Just die. They can't afford to bury you. Dig a hole in their backyard. It is what the fuck it is. But don't expect sympathy. Don't expect protest in the streets. We're not doing that. Black women, we're done. With, we're, we're, we're done. We did our due diligence for this century and the next. We've done enough. We're not doing. We're not doing anymore. Nobody special. All right, black women. Just because you had Kamala Harris out there to represent y'all, and nobody voted for. Her, the first black woman. Gee, I wonder why. Our black women have been known to be likable. So here we are, day four post-election. And you guys are on here upset that we've decided to opt out. My question is why? Pre-election, all we had is heard was black women don't matter, black women are insignificant, Black women this, black women that. But yet here we are. And all we're hearing is wham, wham, wham. Why are y'all leaving us? Why won't y'all include us? Nah. Keep that same energy you had pre-election. Where we didn't matter. Cash that check. Okay? Because you spoke that into existence. And so here we are, minding our business. Be gone. Ooh, spicy. And now for immigration. Mr. Trump has appointed Mr. Tom Homan as the border czar, a real border czar. All right. If you don't know who this guy is, let's go down the memory lane. We have seen one estimate that says it would cost $88 billion to deport a million people a year. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Is that what American taxpayers should expect? What price do you put on our national security? Is that worth it? 
Is there a way to carry out mass deportation without separating families? Of course there is. Families can be deported together. Yeah, people like AOC is not going to like him. They're not going to like him. They tried to challenge him before, and it went epically bad for her. The recommendation of the many that you recommended, you recommended family separation. I recommend a zero tolerance. Which includes family separation. The same as is with every U.S. citizen parent gets arrested when they're with a child. Zero tolerance was interpreted as the policy that separated children from their If parents. I get arrested for DUI and I have a young child in a car, I'm going to be separated. When I was a police officer in New York and I arrested a father for domestic violence, I separated that Mr. father from Holman, his family. Mr. Holman, with all due respect, legal asylees are not charged with any crime. When you're in the country illegally, it's violation 8 United States Code 1325. Seeking asylum is legal. If you want to seek asylum, you go through the port of entry, do it the legal way. The Attorney General of the United States has made that clear. Okay. I have no doubt that Mr. Trump is a man of his word. One of his number one campaign promise was to fix the border and putting this pit bull, Mr. Tom Holman, as the guard dog. Oh, hell nah. Nah, a lot of y'all going to self-deport and keep it out of here. He's going to go after the cartels. I got another message. Another message to the criminal cartels in Mexico. You smuggled enough fentanyl across this country to kill 148,000 young Americans. You have killed more Americans than every terrorist organization in the world combined. And that's when President Trump gets back in office. He's going to designate you a terrorist organization, and he's going to wipe you off the face of the earth. You're done. You're done. He's going to lock this down, and I'm so excited. Let's go.